but I will train with the goal of that I will attempt to qualify. I think the score will be for AMG on best of seven show match next week. 4 1 for AM. Maybe 4 0. Dude picking gray. He deserves my full attention. This content creator viper and super serious viper. They do have a there's a little bit of a hybrid version as well. When content viper is playing tournaments on stream. There is a hybrid as well. But yeah, Doubt said he clapped you in training. See, Doubt, Doubt will win 1 out of 10 games in training. And he uses that one game as uh, I clapped him. That That's how Doubt, like that's literally how Doubt's uh, talking about training games. Tato asked him the other day, like, what's how my, me and Doubt, we did a training set. I had to ask him what was the score, and Doubt said, I total brutaled him. You know who won that set? Like, Doubt said that Doubt total brutaled me. And I say, do you want to know who won that set? Or do you guys, can you guys imagine who won that set? But did he clap you that one game? Yes. Yes, he did. I'm just saying, that's how doubt, Doubt's brain works. Doubt will also play a match. And he will lose. But he always talks about how in his head he won. Because in his head, this that part didn't happen. And if that didn't happen, he would have been in a great spot. And th therefore, in his head, he won. That's how his brain works. It definitely will help him, like, uh, what's the word? Hope. That's probably why he keeps his confidence, you know? <laughs> to have that type of confidence after losing so much, you kind of have to have, like, that type of mentality. Like, delude. Like, uh, delude. What's the description that we use? Delude. Deluded. He's deluded. He needs to have that to go on. I see a rhino. Tempting to take it because he's playing gray. Playing gray is the biggest disrespect in my book. And we'll be talking about it the next six months. There you have it. What is happening? Did he like full wall already or what? What's this pathing? How? What? I've been clicking my scout here. Oh, the forest is just huge, I guess. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. Okay, okay, that makes sense. That's a huge forest. Holy smokes. Delusional. That's the word I was looking for. To function in the way of the Lord, you have to be a bit delusional. Wait, I did not push deer. What am I doing? This is not how you play this game. Pokeboard path thing is super weird as patch. No, it would have been the same in the old patch. So you cannot blame that one. At least my experience has not been different compared to the old patch when it comes to Fog of War. Might need more, one more villager. I don't have enough food to pick up. I would have, uh, you know what, we have enough. Let's do that. Question is, do I go scouts? Yeah, Magyar, so scouts is kind of mandatory. The Dunning Kruger effect also occurs when a person's lack of knowledge. And skills in certain areas cause them to overestimate their own com uh, competence. 
Doubt must have that. 100%. I'm convinced. I am convinced. Goth is very strong this patch, be careful. Oh, I know, I agree. I, th I think Goth have a lot of potential now. With the Civ. Playing scouts against Goth is probably not good. I think me I clicked into opponent's base where I knew there was a hole, but I didn't go until I, they were really close. Yeah, pathing with holes and such is always a bit weird. That's a very risky stable. Be a bit careful here, because the militia have bonus damage against walls. He's just abandoning. Probably already sending a spear. Uh, if he was a little bit further here, maybe I can bait him. So I can trap those. I want to do okay, 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 now we have it. Now ah, another scout is blocking. We need to get the bait. Oh, I don't have that. We need the scout to be going to the. Okay, never mind. I guess we just kill it. Never mind. It would have been nice to trap them, but. Whatevs. Magra Spears beat regular militia. Do they? I don't know if they do. I wouldn't know about that. I think I will go arrange follow up here. He's part of the French school. They always do this range follow up. So we will. Uh, let's keep making some scouts as well, just to be safe. We will drop a range here. Show it attack speed. Yeah, I don't know. What does the stats though? Militia have more HP though, don't they? Oh, Militia have more HP. Yes. Oh, a spear has more HP. Never mind. So Magra spear would win, yeah, for sure. Actually, top side is quite easy to wall. Let's just do it. I kind of want this game to last a bit as well because I want to see how. How strong goth field to play against. Is this a quite a regular scenario? I would say. We're both kind of walled. The opening was not massive. I would say I came out a slightly ahead with the man arms trade. Not getting value for him. And now we're both just transitioning to our thing. This is a normal how a game would play out. Kind of thing. I'm not sure how good or bad Goth are, although I think they're pretty good now. Spears have 5 more HP, but Militia attacks 33% faster. Oh, really? 
Actually, it makes sense. Kinda wanna move, move out with the spears. It also feels too risky right now. Go with the skirms. Although, I guess I'm about to be fully walled. He has fetching now. Yeah, I don't, not until this is walled off, I would not feel safe. I was gonna I was saving for a blacksmith there. That was a bit unfortunate. Where did the spear go? Didn't he have a spearman here? There it is. I kind of want him to fight against my skirms. I don't want to take damage on my scouts. Let him just micro nerd there. Let me try to figure out what his follow up is. Up, you're not that bad. Thank you. I always aim to be not that bad at HM players. It's always been one of my uh, goals. These things are still low HP. They all seem to be in a decent place. Yeah, I think I think like I said, I think Goth are pretty decent now. I have a solid situation going for them. Let's see if he's making long sword play. I don't know what I want him to do. Long sword pike. Just you know for selfish reasons. Let's see how it how it does. Mm. I guess we go 30s outside. And crossbow. Oh, this would be a risky TC. Hmm, about that. Timing, man. I have myself to blame for not keeping my skirms around. I have vision. Wait, did it not go up here? Did he go back? He must have gone back. I don't think late game though. Magyars against Goth is probably pretty rough for Magyars. If it gets to like 200 pop situation. He actually went on.
Uh, we have supplies. You know what? Even though we don't have the last armor or infantry, champions can probably do decent. I would say so. It's not too ugly. Cavalry champion with Magar Hussar potentially. I can see that doing all right. I can see that being just fine. Get plus two, just have some more tankiness in our squad. Oh. Oh wait, I, I'm getting plus one. I didn't have plus two. Fine, let's fight. Seen better melee pathing in the in my life before. Oh, heavy scorps. Do we have that? We do have that, and that's that upgrade is cheaper now. Hmm. Something that's maybe worth exploring. We should probably come um, pick up some relics for the long term. So, Magar has started potentially. Cav Watchers. Champions, maybe. Heavy Scorpion. Might be things we can do. Let's be greedy. We'll go for the furthest one first. It's playing quite passive anyway. We know he added TCs early on, so his eco should be similar. Heavy Couch Husk are not good. He can just play full Husk Carl Halberdier against that. And he will be fine. I was housed. Need a population. Picking up relics. Okay, let's go for that. Don't want him to have it. <sighs> he got the conversion. <laughs> Definitely gonna try and fight for this one though. Don't want him to get that relic for free. I'm surprised he didn't. Do this. Like I'm playing cavalry, right? I'm surprised he's playing crossbow as goth. He could easily play uh, Eichmann even with his crossbow. Adding Pikeman now, but now it might be a little bit too late. Go for this one first. Looks like we should get four relics. Uh, I don't think he should commit. Oh, committing is a mistake. Oh, I, I didn't finish. Bad. Magar, Hustar, Scorpion sounds like a good composition. Magar, Hustar, Scorpion. Mm. In a dream scenario where every fight plays out exactly how you envision it, maybe. I don't think it is. It has too much potential though.
Might be one more relic out on the field. Besides the one we're going for now, because we have three relics already. I think Kawacha Scorpion should be better on paper. Mm, kind of weak to Bomber Cannon. Why do we have Militia out there? Kind of weak to Bomber Cannon with... with Bomber Cannon and... Skirms, I suppose? Probably gonna do another castle there. Not afford to be pop capped right now. Pop, pop cap might lose us the game. Here comes the house calls, indeed, as expected. Got four relics though. Well, I mean, they could also stay in there, you know, at least temporarily. Exactly the kind of situation I wanted though, where it's late game and we're not 100% sure how our sieve performs here. So this is what I wanted, or how Goth performs here, sorry. We have 61 on food though, it should be on paper significant, especially with the Imperial Age advantage. Wait, I lost my Eric that was doing champion. The flood has come, indeed it has. His flood is beating mine, just in sheer numbers. Guess we need more production. I guess I could mix in some knights as well here. Wouldn't hurt. Okay, we're starting to take decent trades there. The thing is, he should not be able to transition to Imperial Age too fast here. But an issue for us is that he's in our food economy. So if our stuff starts getting idled, which it clearly is right now, and that's still a potential problem. It's going for the tease. We have champions now. Like I, I can't imagine a world where we don't take good fights here. Especially if he's still committed to Castle Age. Uh, 
But still, I mean, that, the push here alone shows how scary, how scary that goth push can be. Way ahead and score. I wasn't though for not not long ago. It was fairly close not too long ago. Don't have access to my stone there. I would like my stone. I think he is probably on the way to imp at this stage. That raid isn't too scary though, because it's still long swords in castle age. It's not the most scary arm in the world. We still have four relics, so long term I mean it's still looking pretty good. Never ending flood, yeah. Now he's in. So, cost efficiency, his units will be cheaper and produce faster. We have the same upgrades, but I have four relics. And I think if I mix in cow archers into my army, I think we're in a pretty good spot. Map control, though, is definitely in his favor at the moment. Have I pre reacted a return of Rome teaser already? Yep, we did earlier. There are big chances that he takes some cost-effective fights that can still put me in trouble. But I am doing like a tech switch at the same time. Also, if he like spreads barracks everywhere. Which can also be annoying. Like this, even if I fight here, the, reinf uh, the speed of his reinforcements it's gonna be so much faster than mine. I want to prevent barracks <coughs> from coming up around. That's always gonna be a good fight though. On paper. Hopefully. <laughs> the numbers aren't too wild. I have perfusion, yes. Oh boy, so it begins. Man, I hate how they just don't... The villagers don't move off anymore. Yeah, I lost the cast, I didn't delete either. That's a bit yikes. Yeah, we're gonna have to rely on cost efficiency throughout with cavalchers in our fights. Yeah, I was obviously very ambitious with three villages as well. A little bit too ambitious. With the hill though, we should always take good fights here. That's what we don't like. That he has barracks out on the map. Oh, 
I'm already struggling on gold, by the way. This is looking tough. Heavy Scorpions? I don't think I have a realistic way of getting to Heavy Scorpions right now. Now he's mixing in Husk Crawls. That was, we're taking good trades there. You gotta make sure this castle goes up. That's for sure. I guess he doesn't have unlimited gold either. But this gold will certainly be an important point of contention. Mm. Well, that cast is not going to last long either. We still have one cast in the back though. Is it even worth it for me to send units down? I don't think so. I don't think I can... I cannot split my army. And I don't feel like it's safe for me to ever move out to take different golds. Maybe I need to get... Heavy Scorps. As long as I have this together, I can always win fights. Let's see. Probably just need to go light cow to hold. Well, I don't see how light care helps me. He has, he's doing castle there now. And he has golden stone there. Yeah, this feels like a matchup you cannot allow getting to him. Let's see, we still have four relics. But the issue is we have no map control whatsoever. We just have to base our whole game around taking cost efficient fights. The rest of the game <laughs> until he's completely out of gold. Which will be tough. Because he still has a lot of gold to burn through. We're gonna need a kill counter on these cow watches by the end of the game. They're gonna do a lot of the dirty work. They still cannot like full steamroll us, it seems like. Which would have been the potentially scary part. I think I have a sweet spot of 20 couches as well. They contribute enough to the game where I can win fights, but they don't... There is not too many of them, because if there were too many, I would not survive. Need more barracks close to the front lines. I have like four barracks in the back here. Takes too long to reinforce. Imagine that organ guns here. Okay. Guess we can use those to produce in the back. Yeah, organ guns are probably sick against Goth now. Don't really care too much about those ranges, do we? Maybe yeah, we have to try and sneak some light cover raids in as well. We could also end up with another situation where wood is our biggest problem. Not anything else. 
think I may need to also find time to build up like five traps. So I can... Um, like actually like one tap these castles of his. I don't think I can sell stone. I think I'm more likely to build like, another castle in my base with the stone I have. I think that's what's more likely to happen. Oh, I'm having some sort of deja vu. I feel like I've had a very similar game to this in the past. I'm having some deja vu. Yeah, the Cowgirl must have a lot of kills. Ah, oh, he's going for a lot of Huskulls now. That was a good fight. How to get... Magar Hussar Elite. I like that I'm seeing more and more hikes from him. So he might be in... Yeah, he's having skirms as well, you know what? I think his gold situation is not as good anymore. We are actually kind of making progress ourselves. So maybe we have survived the, the storm. Imagine if I didn't have four relics. Imagine. Oh, I don't have the upgrades here. Wood situation might become my next issue. That's my, that might be where I need to use my gold. To secure wood. Funnily enough. There's castles everywhere. Not sure if I can find a spot to raid in. Oh, this is good. We're in this food eco. Need more cowarches again. But again, we're working on zero gold income. This just attention is being pulled a bit to the side. I think we're losing. Feels that way. Feels like a very tough one to deal with. Like I need to build champion numbers somehow. But how? Constantly trying to get on top of my cowboys with uh, those. <laughs> sell stone. I, I don't. I'm not in a desperate situation yet. I don't think I want to sell stone. It's something I'm more saving. I need to stop making bills though. Like, I'm not in a desperate, desperate situation yet where I feel like I should sell stone over keeping it for a potential castle drop. I might need... Like, we're gonna be fighting for... For, uh... Wood down the road here. And I feel like I probably won't... 
to have stone in case I need to do a castle drop. Raiding him is going to be a key to potentially getting success here. A good reaction from him there. Not working with too many champions here. I guess it's enough, especially if you fight under the castle. Yeah, we're getting some really good raids here. Just getting killing like 10 vils. And it pulled his attention, he's not now losing the fight here quite significantly. That was a very good, very good fight for us. Olagafo blesses from America. Hola, hola. I think this is our moment to push out here. He does have some helps in the area. I think I need to clean those trips. Trips are probably real expensive for him as well. At the moment. Wow, the trebuchet got a cavalry kill. What a legend. Actually, let me heal those champions as well. Okay, we have a situation where our eco feels a bit... Like it has stabilized, kind of. Because I'm starting to float some resources. And I'm starting to have a queue. selling wood in my dream. Do I feel brave enough to move out myself? Start pushing. That's a full halberdier army. Almost. Skirms just kind of ran into their death trying to get hits. Feel expensive for me as well. Yeah, one more trebuchet and I'll try to push out a little bit. So many castles. You know what? Let's just try to start with this one. Oh, he's building a new one there even. Maybe I should rather start with that one. go down. This will also unlock our chances to raid him a lot more. Big fights. It feels like we have it now. I have four relics. That's obviously without those four relics we would have never had the... What? There's a, there's a help there! Don't you tell me I'm losing a trap to one help. <laughs> that could have been yikes. Dude, you only have palisade walls. I don't care how many villas you have walling, that's palisades, my man. I didn't see that initially. I have full HP champions now, because I have herbal medicine. <laughs> Still a lot of skirms and hubs and units in general. Yeah, those those champions are doing a great job there. Oh. 
long as I destroy the castle, I'm happy with whatever else happens here. I don't care. I, oh, actually, if I lose my cow, which is, I'm not happy. But besides that, I'll be fine with anything. Another castle down. I mean, my wood situation is here. I need to keep that safe too. Next castle here. We need champion numbers again. He's just playing full spam now with halberders. We'll go raiding again while we build up our champion numbers. Not for heavy sports. I don't think I can justify it with gold cost. I think it's too expensive. The issue as well with not having the last armor upgrade is that the skirms actually do decent damage against champions. Still secure ourselves some wood income down here. We can now go towards the next castle. We have 15 couches alive. Heroes. I feel like I can sell some stone. I would not be worried about it. I'm actually going to add more barracks on the front. We take another castle down. It's another step towards... You know what I think he's doing a mistake, macro-wise? It looks to me like he has every barrack on the same... Like he just has select all barracks hotkey. So he's producing still from this barracks whenever he's queuing. At this point you can argue that that's a mistake. Because he should only be using the barracks that are close to the fight he's taking. I just need to micro these non-stop that his skirms don't get on top of them. If I sold all my stone, I will have a couple of hundred gold. Another castle down. Let's go for the next one. Whenever he's micling after my couches, he also runs into my melee units. GG. Yeah, potential castle spots here is probably like this one, but I need to clean his castles first. This one would be good because then I can kind of secure these two wood lines and have an opening. Yeah, he's still producing like... These were the only barracks he should have on a, con have on a control group, right? These in the middle here. It's the same like what I did with my barracks. I didn't... These guys are not, no longer part of my control group. So I'm producing units from here. They have to run all the way across the map to get into the fight. But he's like, I think he just has to select all barracks. So he's producing from this one as well, which is like... This is going to easily take a 4, 5, 6 population on the way when as they run down there, right? I don't know how to... I mean, I would have to open Capture Age and watch the replay to check the kill count. But I guarantee you they had some good value. I guarantee it. I had 4 relics. So this is, again, shows you how, like, Magyars, Huns, these civilizations that depend a lot on cavalry, how hard it is to play against Goth. I was never able to get Hussar even, because I just couldn't justify that 600 gold. Um, but yeah, that was a really He played well. I think, I think he did as good of a job as you could expect. Amazing game sense of your win condition. That's. I mean, I've been in this situation before against Goth, and I played Goth on this side as well before. So I've had. Ex I have experience with this. I never had the last armor! For cavalry. Oh my god. I never did the last armor upgrade. Holy smokes. That would have helped a lot as well. 
I don't think I would have ever checked that, to be honest. Yeah, I, would, I didn't even get the last armor, yeah. But yeah, once this castle is gone, he only has those two left, but now the bottom side is, like, completely wide open for raiding. I could now start... Uh, I could probably justify selling, like, 5,000 wood to even buy gold. But there were a couple of moments there where we're, it was, like, super... It could have super easily been that he just overwhelms us with units. Could you use Magrahas, sir? I only have one castle. It doesn't feel like it's worth it. I mean, if I have a second castle, maybe. Yeah, I think getting the couch is fully upgraded was key as well. Obviously, like I used them well with some herbal medicine healing. He got crazy good value. Still has plenty of wood in the back though. That's well if this was a conscious decision for him to take forward wood, then that's really clever. To like have the back wood safe for long term. You find the lack of squares annoying or barely noticeable. Um uh, in a game like this I don't think I notice it. But in general, I do definitely prefer to have it. <laughs> Anyone else with these issues in the new patch? Before I can right-click an empty ground with unpacked trebs. If I can right-click an empty ground with unpacked trebs selected and the trebs would pack up, now it doesn't. Yeah, I, I have the same issue. Trebs act super weird. Like if I click the unpack or pack, things like that. Uh, it, it doesn't really feel... I don't feel like they listen to me. What did he do wrong? I think he played a little bit too many crossbows in Castledge. He let me get four relics. But besides that, I, don't, I wouldn't say he did too many things wrong. Maybe he needed to have more siege push with his overwhelm, right? If he has like four or five traps, when he's doing the hit the spam here to target my castles, I think I'm in trouble. So if he has like 80 military units and non-stop spam with four or five traps, I don't know if I can take his... Uh, I don't know if I can deny him from sniping my castle. Yeah, 500 more kills. He had 110 largest army. Yikes. We have more Furiko, but he has more of the others. Makes sense. I mean, we probably just now caught up. How much relic? 5,600 relic gold. And I had to use the market a lot to be able to afford champions. So it's, it's pretty nuts. How, how hard it is to hold. Goth has a lot of potential, I tell ya. <laughs> 